Good morning, our friends, and welcome back to A Life I Choose, the place where we speak about living life on your own terms, designing your life so that no matter what happens to you, you can thrive and be happy and joyful and wealthy and pl plenty and playful. everything. And playful. Yes, and, and playful. Too. I'm with my husband. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Emma. I'm a psychotherapist and a lifestyle strategist, and I'm also the founder of A Life I Choose, uh, which is a self-development agency that helps you to, as I everything do, everything I just said. And, hey, I'm her husband. And this is Pete, my <laughs> husband. And um, do you want to introduce yourself? No. <laughs> Pete's an architect. <laughs> <laughs> and the co-founder and the co I well you're an architect, a lecturer and the co-founder of Box Concept Studio. It's, it's a good start to my bio. This vlog is a spend the weekend with us kind of vlog. We have work to do this weekend, but we also Pete likes to do this because he thinks it's so funny. <laughs> At least you're smiling now. You were in a bad mood before. Tell us why you were in a bad mood, what happened? But there's blocking the road without putting any signs. There's buildings going up without permits. It's a good world out there. <laughs> it's true though, it's very... Anyway, everybody's pissed off about this, or at least the majority of people are pissed off about this. Anyone who's not making money eh, is pissed off about this, not making money from it. Okay, so today's vlog is like a... Well, I'm, kind, I'm gonna vlog the weekend, so we're working, but we're also making space for play and for fun. Pete has to go to the office today, right? Yeah. And um, I'm working with Nicola, and then I need to prepare for a show, a radio show with Melanie Kelly on XFM. So, um, and then this evening we'll go out, no? Anyway. Yeah, and then we'll see about tomorrow. And um, for me, it's kind of a long weekend because Monday's yes. off for me. Um, I'm going, I'm going swimming. Um, but we're working throughout the weekend, so you see, flexible. We choose it. We choose it. Now it's brunch time. So we'll catch you later. <laughs> What are you grateful for this morning? I'm grateful for the sunshine. I'm grateful for waking up another day. And um, I'm for feeling well. And I'm grateful for all the love in my life. I'm not fun. You're not fun. And I'm like dancing like, here. So boring. Like, man. And you're just like this. So boring. And I know you love this song because you listen to it all the time. I'm fucking driving. But you dance usually. You have fun. Like, you know? Oh, come on, man. I'm not a freaking circus bear. <laughs> Do <that> Dance for me there. It's comfortable. No. Oh, cute! Look on your face. You, you Lucy, like such a perfect husband to do all these vlogs. I had no idea. <laughs> you just, I seem like a perfect husband on the vlogs. <laughs> You're such a freak. It's yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But in reality, you're just an asshole. Yeah, open. Oh, yeah, you hold it. What? Oh, cute! You serious? You got me a gift. I know that. Without shopping, I decided to get you a gift. It's a weird thing, like you can wear it as a skirt or it is to wear with your bikinis and stuff. I really like it. I thought you'd like the pattern. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hola guys, it is afternoon on Sunday, it's not even morning anymore but we've had a really busy morning and a rather emotionally intense morning which i will update you about later or tomorrow because i just don't have time today and we are about to film a video so we're getting it set up 
we're filming our anniversary Q&A which we asked you to send us questions on Instagram and you guys sent us really beautiful questions so we're about to do that then we're off to hang out with Pete's family for a while and then we shall be back here for uh, work and stuff but I'll update you later but I just wanted to show you the filming setup with our beautiful flowers and whatnot so we'll see you later <laughs> about four minutes to speak to you before I have to go and get the brownies out of the oven so I guess that's a good thing because it means I can't ramble on because I have a tendency to ramble on not in real life but on the vlogs <laughs> I tend to so it's been a busy weekend as you've seen there's been a lot of work to get done and we've had fun so today we were hanging out at Pete's cousin's house and um, that was really nice and relaxing and you know yesterday we went out to brunch in the evening we were supposed to go out but uh, as I told you today like we had a bit of an emotionally charged morning so which started from yesterday evening basically what's happening is like my grandma like is like 94 and she's uh, she's not well like at all at the moment you know she's lived a, a full life and everything but it's still I mean it's still my grandma you know and uh, my grandmother is someone who has always shown me love just always even if I've upset her or not done something the right way or not believed in something she believed in or anything she's just always shown me love and she's like such a role model for me you know and I'm pretty certain that she's at the end of her I mean obviously she's at the end of her life but kind of my grandmother for a long time just seemed invincible you know like kind of she would get sick or something would happen to her and she would stay alive she would get better you know she's had strokes and heart stuff and she just always seemed invincible so like every time she you know ended up in hospital it would just be like okay she'll be out again soon you know but it just kind of it really feels and i might be wrong i might be totally wrong but it just feels like it's uh it's, uh, if it's not the end, it's nearing the end. It's funny because, you know how lately I've been like on a kind of like a journey to <clears throat> reignite my feminine energy, be back in touch with my emotions and everything. I had been, you know, wearing my armor for a bit too long, staying too, you know, strong. I can do this, all of it kind of thing, which, you know, I can, I can do a lot of things, but um, I've been trying to just kind of you know let myself feel and you know for the longest time like I haven't cried and like when people cry I'm always just like oh I'm so envious <laughs> not envious like I'm so jealous like kind of like oh I want that too like good for you and I want that too but like when I've gone to see my my nana and I go to speak to her like I feel my eyes just well up with tears and my heart just becomes so full and so heavy I believe that you know energy can't be created or destroyed like i know that she's going to her next life whatever form that may be um i'm just gonna miss her basically like i'm gonna miss her a lot and i'm just gonna miss her so I, I woke up feeling quite down today and i and you know i had a lot of work to do so i just kind of started working and i you know did my journaling first and then i started working and blah 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 but i was just kind of like i couldn't get out of this funk and then at a the point i just cried with people i was like oh that's the timer, so I need to go get those brownies out of the oven. I'll speak to you later. Or actually, just come with me. Let's go get these brownies together. So how cute brownie space was my very first business when I was in my mid-twenties. I used to make brownies and sell them. And my friend Anthea had these gloves made for me. Ooh. It's written on them and I love them. Okay, let's see how these brownies are doing. Mm, they're still a bit gooey. I think they need to go in for another few minutes. So yeah, so basically, 
you know, I haven't been able to cry for like a really long time and um, it's not that I haven't wanted to cry, it just like doesn't like come out and um, for some people this is like really not, not a problem and it's not that I view it as a problem at all but like I felt like I needed to cry and I'm sure there are many people watching who can relate to me when you like lose the ability to cry so anyway this morning I finally cried and it felt good you know it felt really good and especially to cry with Pete you know Pete listened to me and understood where I was coming from he knows how how special my nana is to me like she has taught me so much about resilience and about love she's taught me a lot a lot a lot about love she's not a perfect human being like no one is but she's like done so much for others you know and she she's I'm just i love her and i'm gonna miss her it's been a bit yeah it's been a bit of an emotional one still a very nice weekend like nothing wrong with feeling emotions at all and I'm really glad to be experiencing this emotion you know because I've experienced losses in my life where I felt not nothing but I've been the strong one so I've kind of not allowed myself to feel and then like been alone for the feeling part when the feelings finally came out and I just like I don't want to do that anymore like I want to be able to feel and I want to I want to cry with people if I want to cry and I want to to be vulnerable and be okay and know it's okay. This has been a bit of a different kind of vlog, like I wasn't expecting it to go this way and in a way this is what you commit to when you vlog, you commit to the creative process, you commit to stepping into the unknown, you have no idea how each vlog is gonna turn out. Vlogs can start off one way and then go a different way because that's how life goes and you're basically vlogging your life and you also commit to to honesty i could just be like you know hi guys like today was awesome and blah blah blah, blah. but you know today wasn't awesome it was a good day like I'm not gonna lie i enjoyed working i um i enjoyed working i enjoyed being with pete's family i enjoyed being with pete you know it was a really nice day actually it was a really heartfelt day i'm making brownies now i'm just want to do a bit of work for Let's talk about sex and then we'll probably chill because it's like 9 p.m. And tomorrow I'm on a boat all day, so I'll take you with me. I won't, I probably won't speak to you too much. Um, I mean, I might, I don't, I, again, I'm not sure, you know, I don't know how vlogging is gonna go. Tomorrow's like my chill day, like I, wo I worked all weekend, so tomorrow's like my day off. It's a day to be with my family. And um, Pete can't come tomorrow. Tomorrow Pete's working, he chose not to come because um, his business partner is away at the moment, so. He, he needs to be at, at the office, so yeah, so I'm going on the boat and Pete's gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now, because otherwise this vlog's gonna end up really, really long. Peace. We lost Lulu's hat. It went flying off her, so we're on a mission to get it back. Out. It's apparently about a 23 year old girl whose life falls apart. 27 and my life's falling apart. Are we being You never know. I'm reading Hold Me Tight, which is. You've read it before. I've read it so many times before. Um, I love it. It just gets couples' dynamics down to a T and it shows you like why we fight and how we fight. And made such a difference to the way that I interact with Pete and people in general and I just love it so I think it's super worth it anyway my dad just made us his signature pins cheers pops
boat we have like signature drinks so if Pete's on the boat we have mojitos because that's his thing and when Pete's not here my dad makes pims and I was just asking him he's shy I was just asking him how he makes um, the pims and I thought it was very interesting and thought you guys might like to know how so what's the first step? welcome to the vlog first of all thank you I thought you weren't going to fall <laughs> The evening before, I'll chop up bits and pieces of fruit, but importantly, you need to put in cucumber as well. Why? I don't know, it's, it's part of the part of the mix. But it tastes nice and refreshing. Yes, and it's always nice. What I do to give it a bit of an extra kick is I sort of sprinkle the, um, the mixture the night before with some gin. So I believe Pim's is gin based anyway. So, obviously, that will be in the fridge. And, and what fruit do you use aside from the Whatever there milk? is. Preferably hard fruits, I don't like stuff which sort of starts to dissolve. So, so it has to be like an hard pears, um, I think cucumber pears, Apple. Oh, uh, I, put in, I put a few grapes in as well, I think. Because nice. so there happen to be some grapes in the fridge. So and mint. Whatever right? I, yes, and mint. That's right. And so, okay, so you put in the, you put the cucumber, you put in the hard fruit, you marinate it in gin. 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 A little bit of gin, not so much. So then, when you're actually making it, okay, I just um, big, preferably big glasses, yeah. something you normally drink in beer. Then about um, about a third, a third of them. Um, throw in some fruit, uh, plenty of ice, and top it up with um, with lemon. Very, very nice. Very refreshing. Very nice and refreshing. Very refreshing. Cheers, uh, bud. And. It's not really a Mediterranean thing. It seems to work quite well here. Yeah? Where does it come On a boat? Well, I don't know. I, you can imagine, I suppose, sort of visualise people sort of drinking it while they're playing, watching cricket. Watching cricket. Or sitting in their sitting in their garden in the morning on a Sunday morning. <gasps> Reading the paper. Yes. Well, maybe not that. Yes. Excuse me. I'm sure had gluten free, vegan, lactose intolerant, man of shit. Yeah. Your hubs been saved me now. Thank you. And here we are. I, thank you, but okay, I forgot to bring my gluten-free bread today, so I'm just having the um, tomatoes and olives and capers of version, the part of the Hobbs Bazaar. And yes, I'm having my one of two alcoholic drinks per week. So yeah, you you probably see me drinking alcohol on the vlog, but I don't drink much because of the like you know when I was recovering from fibro and I cut it out for a while and now I kind of can have like two glasses a week I'm fine but I don't like to go above because I like to stay well and also I like to stay focused and I just find that alcohol like drains my focus so I'll have him if I'm out with my family and it's like it's such a tradition you know the mojitos like I love Pete's mojitos like and I won't drink mojito anywhere else because nowhere else measures up to Pete's mojitos and um, and my dad's Pims is really good you know so I'll make exceptions you know but yeah so anyway we're just chilling it's a really nice day you know I worked really hard this weekend and even this morning I woke up early and I and I worked I did my accounts and I went over the notes for let's talk about sex again and um, I'm really excited for the next show because it's <laughs> bless you <laughs> because it's all about why we fight right which is why I'm reading this book because I want to like refresh my memory about um, like this book really helped me like there was a period of time you know the first two years that Peter and I got together we like just fought all the time and, like we couldn't understand how to stop and yet there was this magnetic attraction between us and yet we just fought all the time and we used to think maybe we're incompatible maybe there's something wrong with us and aside from doing like our own therapy like he went to his therapy and I went to mine so we understood e each other we could understand ourselves first and then understand each other this book really helped um, it speaks about like three main patterns that couples get trapped in and how like what we're actually fighting about like the needs that we're trying to communicate to each other and because we step into fight or flight we just communicate it all wrong and that's why arguments get way bigger than they need to that's what Hobbes Bizet is it, has it got it I think it's got it I don't know I can't see that's what Hobbes Bizet is meant to look like Lulu's telling me yeah thanks gluten-free because I was very very sick <laughs> 
Oh, show us your face, you freak. <laughs> and why do you drink anisette, Ma? I love the taste and it reminds me of my parents from Sunderland. Ah, because it was like a tradition for you, eh? And you would have it after your first swim? So you would have two? <laughs> what does it taste like? Both? It's like anisee, so it's a bit like licorice. Very good. It's, it's like, it's like perno, no? But perno is delicious. But I don't There's the there's the ice cream boat. Remember when you were a kid and you used to call over the ice cream boat? That smell is amazing. <laughs> have you come for your brownie? Mm -hmm. You can have me. Hmm? Yes. Hola! I'm here with my sister. Hi! So it's the end of the day and it's the end of my weekend with a Monday. And I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know that this was a little bit like all over the place. But I wanted to give you a weekend in my life and this is how a weekend in my life goes. It's not always predictable and there's a lot of work and I'm running out of battery so I need to make this really fast. We wish you love. We wish you well, we wish you health, we wish you joy and we hope to see you for the next one so don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified oh. when we upload new videos. We upload new videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays.